I have been using Motion Array for years now, a few years, and I have almost no complaints about it. There's, they have a lot of good music, they have a lot of good LUTs, they have a lot of good transitions and special effects and so, many, so much stuff. I can't, it's like a buffet of photography and camera stuff and it is, it's very good. But there's one thing that really, really pisses me off sometimes. When you download a song, you get the song and you get a license for that song that you can download and keep for whenever they, whenever you upload it to YouTube. If YouTube thinks it's a copyright, you can go and dispute it. You go and upload a video when you're using one of Motion Ray's songs. Not a whole lot at the beginning when I started using Motion Ray, but sometimes there would be a copyright strike or a copyright claim. I would have to go find the song, go find the license for the song into the download section where they have the license for each song that you downloaded copy and paste that, go and dispute it, and then wait however long the person who holds the copyright to the song wants to do it. Sometimes that's up to a month that you have to wait for the copyright claim to go away because it's not YouTube looking into it, it's the person who owns the copyright. That's not even, that's not the main thing that I'm complaining about. That is really annoying. What's really, really annoying is whenever it's six months to a year down the line and you get a copyright claim for the video and you have to go into all of your downloads and figure out where it's at. Get the piece of paper that says all the details about that you own the song for the video or you have a right to the song because you paid for it. And it is super annoying because also sometimes the song is different, is not the same name. It does not have the same name on YouTube that it does on Motion Array. So, Recent scenario, I have a video that I posted like seven months ago and it recently got a copyright strike and I was like, well that's annoying because now I have to go and find that song. So I go into the claim and I see the title and the title of that song was, I go to type in the song on Motion Ray, it doesn't exist on Motion Ray, it's a different name. So I have to go in and figure out where that song is and go and listen to every single song that I posted around that time and figure out which one it is, but the song I used was so quiet and it was under a bunch of other talking and sound effects that I used. It was really hard to figure out what song it was that I was using in the video. I couldn't even freaking tell. I spent like two hours looking for the song. I finally found it and submitted it. If anyone else is dealing with this or has had to deal with this before, Comment down below. Other than that, I have no issues with the website. It is one it is my go-to place to get pretty much any anything asset-wise. Anyway, I hope you guys got something from this video. If you want to see some editing tutorials on masks specifically, there's a video right here. You can go click on that one, and I will see you in it.